the incidence of young onset colorectal cancer is rising globally. About 1 in 10 patients with a new colon cancer diagnosis and 1 in 4 patients with a new rectal cancer diagnosis are younger than 50. Hi, I'm Dr. Aparna Parikh. I'm the medical director for the Center for Young Adult Colorectal Cancer at the Mass General Cancer Center. So, what is colorectal cancer? Colorectal cancer involves malignant cells that grow in the colon or the rectum. Oftentimes, colorectal cancers start as polyps, which are non-cancerous, but can turn into cancer over time. Different people may have different symptoms of colorectal cancer, and some people may not have any signs or symptoms at all. Colorectal cancer symptoms may include abdominal or belly discomfort or cramping, bleeding from your rectum or finding blood in your stool, changes in the way your stool looks or how often you move your bowels, diarrhea, constipation, or a feeling that you can't empty your bowels completely, increased gas, and unexplained weight loss. It is important to remember that these symptoms can be attributed to things that are not related to colorectal cancer, but if you experience any of these symptoms, please talk to your primary care provider. Colorectal cancer is becoming increasingly more common in young people. The majority of colorectal cancer cases are not tied to a family history of the cancer. However, up to 30% of all colorectal cancer diagnoses occur in patients that do have a family history of colorectal cancer. It's important to understand and follow the screening recommendations for colonoscopies. Colonoscopies can detect cancer before you have symptoms or have advanced disease. Early detection is critical. It's important to advocate for your own health and well-being if you have any concerning symptoms. If you have a family history of colorectal cancer, you should get your first colonoscopy at 40 years old or 10 years prior to when your immediate family member was diagnosed. All others should start screening at age 45, including those without symptoms. There are other screening options, including stool-based tests, but it is important to talk to your primary care doctor about the advantages and disadvantages of different types of screenings. It's important to note that these other screening methods are only for patients without symptoms. If you are having any symptoms that we mentioned before, it's important to get a colonoscopy. To help reduce your risk of getting colorectal cancer, eat healthy foods, including plenty of vegetables, fruits, and whole grains, limit red meat, exercise regularly, limit or avoid alcohol, and maintain a healthy weight. Finally, quit smoking, or better yet, don't even start. The Center for Young Adult Colorectal Cancer provides specialized and personalized care for patients under the age of 50. Our multidisciplinary team of surgeons, medical oncologists, radiation oncologists, nurses, nurse practitioners, and geneticists care for the whole patient. Treatment options include colorectal surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, potentially immunotherapy, and access to clinical trials. Colorectal cancer is largely preventable and in most cases curable, especially if it's detected early. If you're experiencing any of the symptoms I have mentioned, have a family history of colorectal cancer, or are 45 and older, talk to your primary care provider about getting screened today. Thanks for watching. To learn more about other types of cancer, click here and don't forget to subscribe.